So this, this is, this is happening. I'm very curious if this is actually Ben Shapiro or if this is like a deep fake. I don't know. I used to listen to Ben Shapiro like when I was in college, whenever he like first came out amongst everybody and was like really groundbreaking. But he also has said that rap isn't music. So I'm, I'm just a little concerned about this song here. But regardless, you guys know how I do it over here. I just listen to the song and I talk about the musical aspects and the lyrical phenomena. This is already looking to be a politically based song. And you guys know that I don't like political songs, despite my views being very similar to a lot of the stuff that Thomas said. I just personally don't care for that kind of topic. I've tried it before in the past and it just makes me feel weird and it's just extremely divisive. No matter which angle you take, whether you rap from the right, whether you rap from the left, you're always pissing somebody off. But I am a rap nerd, so I love me some punchlines, some metaphors, some cool flows, and I really want to fucking know if Ben Shapiro's gonna rap on this thing. My man's already got the dare shirt, but it says facts don't care about your feelings, obvious slogan from Ben Shapiro. Alright, well this is Tom's bread and butter, so let's dive on into this song and see what we're talking about here. They call me offensive, controversial. It's only two genders, Jumping right in. They can't cancel my message because I'm the biggest independent rapper in the whole freaking world. Claim that I'm racist, yeah, all right. All right. I'm not ashamed because I'm white. If every Caucasian's a bigot, I guess every Muslim's a terrorist. Every liberal is right. I don't want to talk to folks okay. who don't get it. Go woke, go broke, no hope. But oh, that's a sick pro flow right there. If you're progressive, but you ain't pro-gun, no one to protect it. I Idea. love that flow right there. Reminds me of a drum cadence. That's the kind of shit that I nerd out over. Music visuals look really dope, as always, has really stepped up his game over the years and he definitely has developed a style of just jumping into songs which i personally think that all independent artists should take note of attention spans are so short nowadays listeners don't wait 15 20 seconds anymore to get into a song they want to know exactly what's happening in the first five seconds also this beat makes me want to vomit it's so disgusting i don't want to talk to folks who don't get it go woke go broke no hope it's pathetic pro choice pronouns that is you're progressive so you ain't pro gun no one to protect it where the american flags at remember when people would hang those they've been taken down they all been replaced with blm flags or a rainbow the same rap, mm -hmm. the same money cars and clothes all right so we're hearing a lot of similar topics that he's talked about before i still got an american flag out there though got it hanging in the right field of my wiffle ball field in the backyard we ain't selling drugs we ain't gonna overdose we ain't pushing guns ain't promoting stripper poles we won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes i don't care okay. if i fan you there's ben again right there I was bro <laughs> there's no way this dude's actually rapping on this Like, I like the chants that I'm hearing in the background. I, I'm a super chant kind of guy. I'm iffy on this chorus. I'm always this way with Tom's choruses, and I know people sometimes don't understand, and it's hard for me to explain why I'm so iffy on them sometimes. It's not topic-wise. It's just like it's not getting stuck in my head. Sometimes he has choruses that absolutely get stuck in my head. It's just that weird factor. Again, I don't know how to explain it. Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money no way. So my pockets are fat. Homie, I'm happy. Don't be a whack. Dog, it's a yamaka. Bro, I said my money like Lizzo. My pockets are fat. Oh, my good God. I guarantee that Tom probably wrote his verse for him and then rapped it for him and then told Ben, just like, try your best to sound like this. I love the blink expression, too. Okay, I gotta rewind this. I did not think that he was actually gonna rap on this. Respect. Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like Lizzo. My pockets are fat. This is Homie, I'm epic. Fuck? Don't be a whack. Dog, it's a yamaka. Homie, no cap. Look at the grass. <laughs> look at my charts. You're blowing Dog, money. it's a yamaka. No cap. A yamaka is on your head, but it's not technically a cap oh my god ben shapiro rapping in 2024 not on the bingo card that's for sure i thought it was gonna be some kind of cameo where he popped in towards the end and like gave a little message or maybe just said the word facts on a course but no dude's got a he's got a whole verse regardless of your political stance this is so unexpected can you imagine like kamala harris singing on a damn song anyway me on strippers and cars you go into prison i'm on television dogs no one knows who you are keep hating <laughs> on me on the internet my comment section all woke karens and i make rap off compound interest y'all live with your parents nikki take some notes i just did this for fun all my people download this let's get a billboard number one this ain't rap this ain't okay money, cars and clothes. lost me towards the end man you were you had me a little bit your flows were kind of cool but then you kind of you kind of you, you lost me at the end that is just so hilarious that this happened was it good no was it entertaining absolutely but if you were to tell me that ben shapiro was gonna rap this is not near as bad as i thought that it would be if i would to believe that bro said i make racks off of compound interest you still live with your parents bro is out here dissing the shit out of the public we ain't selling drugs we ain't gonna overdose we ain't pushing guns ain't promoting stripper poles you won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes. All right. I don't care if I offend you. So I actually.
actually, I rock with that pre-chorus a lot, especially the message behind it, because a lot of today's music does push that lifestyle, and I've always been against that kind of lifestyle and that message being pushed in a song. Now, have I rapped about shooting guns before? Yeah, I have. Because there's a lot of dope punchlines you can make about shooting a gun. But I even have a song coming out in a couple weeks called Rap Nowadays where I, I talk about this, where I'm like fine with the sound of thing, like I'm fine with the auto-tune sound and like the mumbly kind of sound, the cool beats, the trap beats and stuff, I'm fine with that. But I'm not fine with the message that we send to people that listen to this stuff. Because the younger generation that does listen to that style of music is very influential, meaning they can be influenced very easily. So if they're over here and they hear I don't even know a rapper, like Young Thug rapping about all these different types of drugs. They have no idea what these drugs are. They've never seen it in their life, but then they're over here talking about it or they're researching it, trying to find some. I know a lot of people whose lives have been absolutely fucked by drugs, which is why I can understand why Tom keeps making more political based songs. Because how I feel about drug use being promoted is how I think he feels about some of these topics being promoted. For example, the idea of having more than two genders. I have heard him rap about that on several songs, and I know I've rapped against the promotion of drug use on several songs. So that is where I'm definitely understanding of why he keeps doing it. I was praying to a sad You can cry and you can scream. You can riot in the streets. You defunded the police. Now there's no one to protect you. I'll buy a fan you. I ask myself what would Ben do? Let's just keep it real facts. Don't care how you feel, man. If you want my pronouns, I'm the man. I'm the man who don't respect you. You mad, you mad, you mad. Yes, it's cool to be the victim. Well, I'm a beat em, man. You said, okay. you said, you said, you just try to get attention, being triggered's all you have. You mad, you mad, you mad. You blame I like the slowdown of the beat right here. And again, this is a similar strong stru song structure to a lot of the songs that he has. He's got this bridge build up before he goes back into another chorus, I assume. But I like the slowdown. I like him singing a little bit on this. Everybody else for every problem that you can. Hey, that wasn't bad at all. I will never say I'm sorry. I ain't taking nothing back. I don't care if I offend you. I was put here to upset you. I just love how stoic, how stoic Ben Shapiro is in this whole video. It is it is making it for me. Wow. Okay, so that was facts with Ben Shapiro. As fast as Ben talks, I really wanted like a Godzilla type verse from him. I need another song and I want to hear him just go just fucking let it go. But yeah, let me know how you guys felt about this song. As far as his catalog of like these political songs that I've rapped to, it kind of falls in the middle for me. There is some stuff that I did like about the song, especially some of those cool flows that he was hitting. But again, that's just my opinion. Let me know how you guys felt. Shout out to my homies over at Manscaped for sponsoring my channel. If you guys think you might have sex in the near future, you should probably grab some stuff from them. Keeps you downstairs area smelling nice and freshly prepared for any situation use code crypt 20 20 percent off free worldwide shipping and you can thank me later shout out to tom and shout out to ben shapiro and i'll see you guys in the next video line up these rappers then a cop back aim their pain walking through this life my back is sliced up from the blades i ain't seem to have a choice it's time for things